50 Cent declared bankruptcy this week, but it's not the type of bankruptcy where you're left broke and high and dry. No, it's a different type of bankruptcy. Chapter 11, yes, which is the type that allows a person reorganize and renegotiate payment terms with creditors. So he's not going to be giving up his assets and selling his property, no. He's basically just going to rearrange his finances. All the best to him. Welcome to The Gist. I'm your host, Toyosi Phillips. The gist. Hey guys, welcome to the show. It's going to be a good one. Joining me later is a man with the longest standing show on Sahara TV, Dr. Injakiri Damages. I'm so excited about this one. I need to talk to him and find out how he has managed to produce over 190 episodes and still maintain his sanity. So on to this week's gist and there's some not so good news about Bobby Christina. A lot of people are actually speculating that she's either dead or about to be let go of completely. This is because sometime this week tents were seen outside the hospice that she's been in and this tents blocked off the view of photographers who have been camped outside the hospice and as if that was not enough. Two hearses arrived there two days ago and family members, family friends, lawyers and even cops gathered at the hospice as well. No statement has been made by the family but things look pretty grim still on grim situations cool fm on air personality freeze plastered pictures of scars and bruises on his body on social media this week he said they are from attacks from his estranged wife Okwe, and he basically said it's not only women that are victims of domestic violence but men as well and he actually called her a violent adulteress saying that before they got separated she would come home late at night drinking of alcohol and then get violent if he asked her where she had been it's pretty messy okwa responded though saying that freeze was just looking for attention to build his career and that she wasn't and never will be a violent adulteress for the sake of their kids, really, I think they need to just take this mess of social media and look for other ways to vent and expel their energy. Okay, more gist for you, and this is an exciting one, especially for fans of Empire. Woo! So the show just launched a 15-city tour in search of a vocalist in a new competition titled Fox's Next Empire Artist. The tour bus is going to be going from LA to Nashville, Atlanta, New York, and some other cities. And fans are going to get to sing an a cappella version of their favorite song from the show. The winner will then appear as an empire entertainment artist in season two. So cool. Just might be me or you guys. You never know. You just see me singing that song. I can't remember the name now. Still on news on this part of the world, Chris Brown's trial seems to have started again. His new house, he moved in barely a month ago, it got broken into this week and his mom is certain that it's an inside job. So he was out partying with friends when three armed men stormed the house and held his aunt at gunpoint before grabbing money and other valuable things from the house. And it seemed like they knew exactly where to go and what to look for because Chris Brown recently got paid $50,000 and when they got to the house, they said some things that's the robbers they actually said some things about fifty thousand dollars yeah i think chris brown needs to revisit his list of friends again because for a while now everywhere he has gone with these friends there has been drama either someone is getting injured or bottles are broken or gunshots are fired there's always drama he just needs to reorganize his friendship life and moving on to his ex rihanna riri baby she's taking her fashion game to the next level she has partnered with a socks making company stance as their creative director for one of their lines and this is not just the company using her name to increase the sales no 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 a spokesperson from the company said that she was super involved with the whole process saying she was incredibly hands-on from the initial mood boards and inception of the collection to the design process and ultimately the final campaign shoot well done stance is going to be releasing 18 styles from the rihanna collection in september and then they'll release the holiday line in november and President Obama, for the first time, spoke about the Cosby allegations this week. He said, if you give a woman or a man for that matter without his or her knowledge drugs and then have sex with the person without consent, that's rape. And then he added that America or any other civilized country should have no tolerance for rape. Like I said, that's the first time he's saying anything about it and people are actually saying kudos to him. And let me tell you about Burner Boy. <laughs> Yo, this guy 
won my heart over when he came on the scene in 2012. Or was it 2013? I think it was 2012, yes. He sure won me over with his songs and I've always had respect for him and his hustle. Remember when he fell out with his record label? He set up his own and kept doing his own things, but now he's having to face another situation. It seems like he has gone deaf in his right ear. He posted this picture up and said he couldn't hear anything in the right ear and he'd been working too hard and that his doctor said he should stay out of the studio for a while. I can't honestly begin to imagine being an artist and not having my hearing work properly. I hope it's something that can be fixed and I wish him a speedy recovery. Burner boy, please, you have to pull through this one home and you have to come back and give us some nice jams. And his fellow singer, Davido, may be in trouble with the NDLEA, that is the Nigerian Drug Law Enforcement Agency, for flashing coke in his Fans Me video. That's the one that featured Mick Mill. There were bags and lines of cocaine in the video, and the NDLEA is saying that the video is inappropriate and indecent, and that it has the tendency to negatively influence and induce drug use and trafficking. They are saying they will investigate the matter and take necessary action. Me, I doubt that anything will be done to be honest, but David don't may want to keep away from drugs for a while. By the way, he's said to be dropping his album on August 10, so that's something for his fans to look forward to. And an album I'm looking forward to personally is that of Diary Out Ala Days, which is said to also be coming out next month. He dropped some singles recently, one called Pray For Me featuring the Soweto Gospel Choir and Asikolaye featuring Olamide aka Bado. The name of Diary's album is Naked and yeah, I'm looking forward to it. And congratulations to Timaya, whose longtime girlfriend had a second baby for him. Another girl, so cute. And what do Shay Shay and Yvonne Nelson have in common? Other people other than their dads played the father roles in their lives. Yvonne Nelson granted an interview this week where she said she doesn't have good memories of her father. She said he promised her many things while she was growing up but never made true to his promise and she kept getting disappointed every time till her mom basically told her to give herself a brain. Shay Shay on the other hand said this week that she grew up with a single mother but that Sound Sultan, who would have thought? Sound Sultan was like her dad, the dad she never had. I didn't realize they were that close. She said him and his wife are like her dad and mom and that it's a relationship that's indescribable. It's cool seeing artists being so supportive of other artists. We have to go on a short break now and when we get back I'll be joined by Dr. Damages. This is The Gist. Until next week I'm Dr. Damages. I diagnose. You hear you hear so this is the sixth anniversary of Michael Jackson's death. What do you feel? Don't you see me dancing? Dancing? Dance? What, what is that? I'm a dance song? machine. Ah, yeah, dance machine. <laughs> Welcome back guys. So with me in the studio right now is one of my role models. He doesn't know it, <laughs> but he actually is. He has the longest standing show on Sahara TV called Dr. Damages, a political satire. Very interesting. You guys should watch it. Welcome to the show, Dr. Damages. Nice to be here to see. This is wonderful. You have a nice uh, set. <laughs> Different from... Do you how did they give you this kind of budget? I, yeah, my budget. You know some people out I there. I know people at the top, yeah, yes. I can see. Okay, let's talk about your show. How did you get into political satire? I don't know. I, I was trying one day to count my teeth with my tongue, and it was difficult. And I said, that's satire. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, that's it. That's satire. If you, can, okay. if you can count your teeth with your tongue, then that you know satire. So that was when I said, I want to do that. Okay, let me rephrase. People could oh, wow. count their tongue with their teeth. Yes. That's easy. Hmm. But counting your teeth with your tongue is difficult. Count their tongue with their... <laughs> what, really? really? Okay, uh, let's okay, start. Okay. How did you start your show? No, I, I have always been commenting on Nigeria. Yes. But I discovered that, you know, straight talk, people don't really care about that. They think mm. you're talking too much. So you find a way to deliver the same message in a different form. Maybe mm. in a way that maybe it's funny, maybe it makes them think. 
that's that's satire. That's what I'm trying to do. Find an ironic way to say the same thing you've been saying in long essays. So that was it. And you have what over 190 episodes. Yeah, now. 190. How have you maintained your sanity producing these shows I, I, week I, after week I after week? It's, it's the help of everybody here at Sahara. People help in different ways, and even our viewers too. They are the ones actually that that are contributing to that. You know, because some days you don't feel like doing it, but they will write you and they complain that you are not on time and why what are you doing you know they can't sleep without watching it I know they're lying but, <laughs> but they make you go back and do it okay. they are the people actually okay so you talk a lot of well it's even about politics and I know that you've impersonated the past president a lot president good luck Jonathan he's, my friend. he's your friend yeah. do I you miss think him. I, miss him. <laughs> I miss that man okay so do you think shows like this actually make an impact in the Nigerian government? Oh, yeah, yeah. We know people in government, they watch, even people around the president. I don't know about the president himself, I mean the past president, but they watch. And they learn a few things, you know. I've had some things. I'm not allowed to say that in public. <laughs> when I write my memo. Oh, Lord. Then, What's your memo going to be called? About the, the story about Dr. Damages. Another thing you talk about a lot on your show is women. Yeah, you know, Dr. Damages is someone who likes certain kinds of women. Um, yeah, and he, he tries to okay. talk about them. What is your obsession with Kosi Oji? What's her last name? Kosi Ojako. Kosi Ojako yeah. and Mahida. Mahida, Those yeah. are the kind of people you talk about. No, no, but those are the people that are defining the new Nigeria. You may not like it, but it's true. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the one me. taking their pictures. I'm not the one putting them on the cover of magazines. So mm. these are the people that have been defining the culture. They're doing things different from the way of people like Onyeko and Weno and people who have, <laughs> who have talents. These people do not have any talent. But they're there, just like Kim Kardashian. This is the same story, the same kind of people. We have them. They're changing mm. the country without the country knowing it. Mm. You, it's not you. It's not that you're keeping it real. It's not people like that. It's, uh, people <laughs> so we have to promote them. You just talked about keeping it real now. Yeah. What is the rivalry between you and keeping it real? Because you keep talking about keeping it real on your show. You know, I used to be number one <laughs> until she came. People used to watch my show. Now they right. say, I don't know how to act. I don't know how to talk. I don't know. They, they compare me to her and abuse me every day. You know the email I get that I should fold up. I should learn, go to learn lessons from <laughs> No, 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 no. The thing is this. People don't know that keeping her, she, she, she is part of Dr. Damages in many ways behind the scene. Without her, there wouldn't have been Dr. Damages maybe even. So, so people don't know all these things. All but love. it's all, it's all there. Uh, yeah. It's just, all love. We just want to make up a uh, fake uh, conflict. <laughs> Let's get serious a bit. Okay. What are you expecting from this present government? Buhari? Oh, there are a lot of um, people, people hope that they will transform the country and um, overnight and um, I, I don't know. I have an open mind. I, that's why we've not debuted our Buhari character. We just want him to define himself before we define him. But if we wait for too long, he couldn't define himself. We might define him. You know, so, so we, we hope, there's still hope that he could do something. Uh, how much he would do, I don't know. Um, we, we are watching. We, we don't want to jump the ship and say that it's, it's, it's hopeless. But do you think, do you think he's, he was a better no, candidate? Um, for most Nigerians believe that. I, I think personally. Um, what do you on, believe? On my, I don't know. Dr. Damages will let everybody do their thing. The worst, the better. I mean, if, if <laughs> yeah, actually, we missed a lot of characters in the past administration. Now right. we are struggling. You know, we are struggling to get people to talk and say crazy things and stupid things. You know, these people are more organized. Look at look at the wife of the president. Apart from that watch. The watch. <laughs> the watch. The watch. We don't yeah. have materials. We want her to come out and do something. You know, but, you know, so we hope that the new ministers, that Buhari will appoint new ministers, and some of them will be crazy people. So we can have easy days, you know, in terms of producing this show. Some days wow. it's hard. <laughs> yeah. now, now, I want you to advise upcoming political satirists. After that thing happened with um, Charlie Hebdo, mm. I know a lot of people stayed away from making fun of sensitive issues. So how would you advise someone who feels like that's what they want to do? You want them to, to kick me out from my job? I'm, I'm trying asking. to be at the top. You want me to advise no, them yeah, to everybody compete? Everybody is not. Everybody is no, no, okay, okay. The thing is, <laughs> what we do actually, seriously, what we do is to try to hold people accountable. 
Mm. What I tell people is that for you to hold people accountable, you cannot worship them at the same time and hold them accountable. Nigeria as a nation is a country that has failed, but it works for the people that fail the country. And everybody's struggling to fail the country so that it will work for them. Mm. So these are the, the things that our comedians are, and people who are commenting on the country, sometimes they don't want to deal with that because they benefit from that system. You know, if you want the politicians to bring you in and pay you millions of naira to perform for them, you're not going to be free to criticize them. Mm. It's recently that you see some of our comedians, they're coming out and they're talking about political issues. Yeah. Uh, you look at Jonathan, you know, during the campaign. A lot of our so Nollywood people, so. they were with Jonathan. Yeah. And now they're trying to redefine themselves. <laughs> they're like, they couldn't even see that the man was sinking. <laughs> Because they were not watching Dr. Damages. Watch it and you know Watch what will Dr. happen tomorrow. Damages. <laughs> what will happen tomorrow? Okay. So have you advised them? Oh, the, the people coming up? Yes. Oh, you have to be bold. You have to be bold. You have to go where they said you shouldn't go. That's the where to begin. I wake up in the morning and I will say, I will imagine the Pope in the bathroom trying to poop. I will wake up and say, the President Obama. He goes to the toilet like me and you. So that's, at that point, you level him down to a decent level you, you, with you. Then you can talk about him. Okay. But when you start thinking, oh, this is Oye but we can't touch Oye Oh, this is Oye uh, yeah, you can't touch him. Then you are, you are done. You are not going to be able to critique what they say. You don't want, that's the problem. We worship people too much in Africa. Mm. We think that they are gods. You can't talk about them. And then we fail. Okay. So we're trying to hold them accountable. That's do, all. do you have any role models? Where? Oh, yeah, in the entertainment in the industry. Entertainment yeah, industry. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like David Letterman, Jay Leno, you know, people like that, John Stewart. These are the people it that. It would be are, nice yeah. to see you on networks. Yeah, like yeah. That. That, these are the people we talk about. They they tell you how it is. Yeah. Thank you so much for <laughs> being you, here, Dr. Damage. Thank you. Is this, that, that's it? That, wow, yes, that's it. Your show is not up to. How many minutes do you have on Can your you show? Can you not say that? <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Dr. Damage is everyone. So tell them we'll be back after the break. We'll be back after the break. Keep it here on the gist with Toysi Phillips. <laughs> Thank you. to the end of the show guys thank you so much for watching and thanks to dr damages for being on my show please don't forget to like this video and drop comments below and also follow us on all social media platforms i appreciate you guys clicking every week thank you very much i'll see you next time and remember you can be everything you want to be Mwah.